Welcome to another edition of Auto Geek Show Car Garage here in sunny Stewart, Florida. I'm your host, Mike Phillips, and on this edition, I have a very special guest, the president and CEO of Optimum Palmer Technologies, David Gaddusi. Welcome to Auto Geek Show Car Garage. Mike, it's great to be here. Hey, I hear you've got a brand new product you want to introduce, but before we talk about that product, could you tell everybody just a little bit of background information about your company? Sure, Mike. Uh, Optimum Polymer Technologies was started in 2001. After working several years in uh, manufacturing automotive uh, clear coat, we started making products specifically designed for these newer technologies. The clear coat finishes come down on the assembly lines on new cars. Absolutely. Okay. Right. And we've been working with car manufacturers to create products that it can use in that assembly plant as well. So chances are someone watching this right now, they got a car out in their driveway, out in the garage, uh, their, your products were used on their paint as the car was being built on the assembly line. It could very well be. So that's your background. That's where Optimum Polymer Technologies came from. Okay, well, tell you what. Tell me about this new product you have. Sure, Mike. Uh, this is uh, uh, Optimum Piper Polish. It's the first and only spray-on polish in the marketplace. Okay, hold on. Spray-on. Most everything is, a, is a, a liquid that you would pour out of a bottle. Right. So this is, you spray this right on to the face of the foam pad, I'm guessing, or your applicator pad. You can use it by machine or by hand. How do you use this product? Sure, you can use it uh, by hand or by machine. Of course, with the machine, you get faster correction. Sure. And you can use it with any pad, uh, with any machine, and uh, depending on how much uh, correction okay. you want. So make. it's very versatile. Now, who would typically use a product like this? Who's this targeted at? It's for professional detailers as well as car care enthusiasts. Okay, so it's basically anybody that wants to get their car all shiny. Right. Okay, sure. so now this is a product for a neglected finish, something with swirls? Any swirl marks or light oxidation to heavy scratches, you can okay. uh, correct it with this product. Okay, now here's another question. Uh, what is the cleaning, where does the cleaning power come for this product? What do you, what's inside here that's actually going to do the work for me if I want to go out and work on my car? We've uh, used a combination of SMAT and DAT in this product. SMAT and DAT. Let me clear that up real quickly. DAT is an acronym that stands for Diminishing Abrasive Technology, and a lot of car care products use DAT. SMAT is kind of a new emerging technology, and that stands for Super Micro Abrasive Technology. And so you're saying this product uses kind of a combination of both. So you're getting the benefits and features of two different types of abrasives. Right, exactly. What we found was that a combination gives you the best results. Okay, now. This isn't going to make my paint look all scoury or swirly, though, right? Absolutely not. This is uh, this works uh, as a light compound. If you use it with a heavy cutting pad or a finishing polish, you use a finishing pad. Okay, so uh, here's a, I, I have a rotary buffer here, and this is a polishing pad on. Over here, I've got a porter cable with a light cutting pad, and I could use this part with either one of those, depending on the amount of aggressive cleaning action I want from the product. That's right. Okay, so that means I can change the power of the product simply by changing the pad. Absolutely. Okay. Now, what's the benefit, the primary benefit of a spray-on product versus a traditional liquid? Well, uh, this product was developed as part of a project we were doing with one of the major car manufacturers. Okay. And what we found out was that when you use a liquid uh, polishing product and you apply it to the pad, most of your pad does not have any product on it, which caused dry buffing or hazing. Okay, so that means when someone's polishing, if there isn't actually part of this product, the liquid on the surface of the pad, you have dry portions of the pad rubbing against the paint. That can actually cause marring, maybe dull the surface down. Exactly. So by spraying this on, we're going to take and cover the entire face of the pad, and then when we put the pad against the paint and turn the polisher on, the entire face will be working for us. Right, absolutely. And uh, the other advantage is that because it's spray on, you don't have to use a lot of product to cover the whole pad. With minimal product, you cover it. You don't have the problems of uh, loading up the pad or gumming up or, or swinging. So uh, use less product, you right. get great results. You get better results and use less product, and uh, that's a, always a good combination. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. Tell you what, I went out in the parking lot and I was looking for a car we could test this product out on. I think I found a great candidate. It's a 2003 Honda. And it, the finish, it's a base coat clear coat, but it's actually oxidized. It's starting to look kind of pasty. You can tell it's dulled down. There's some swirls and scratches. Would that be a good candidate for this product? Absolutely. I think it's a great uh, candidate. Well, tell you what. Let's take it over and put it to the test. That sounds great. That's in your capital hands, Mike. 
Here's our victim. This is a 2003 Honda Civic. It sits outside seven days a week, 24 hours a day, completely exposed to the elements, and over time, the finish has become very neglected. What do you think, David? Looks pretty oxidized to me. Yeah, it's, it is oxidized. In fact, what's unique about this is a lot of times with clear coats, the problem is swirls because clear coats are actually fairly resistant to oxidation. That's something we kind of associate with old single stage paints. But when you start to look at this, the red paint is actually starting to turn pink in some places. You're right, Mike. So you think this would be a good test of your product? Absolutely. Okay, well, tell you what. Before we get started, what I want to do is I want to take and tape off half the hood with some paper and some painter's tape, and then we're going to work on just one half of the hood, and we're going to use the DA polisher and the rotary buffer, and then we'll pull the paper off and take a look at the difference. That sounds great. 